Somebody help me. Who is taking the mic here? Bond condition. She Bond. came. She came with this. Wow. She, she came with. Oh, you yeah, do what you cannot do before. You couldn't do that before. Who knew about this case? People yesterday, I was the person of bend his leg. She cannot bend it. I thought she was joking. I said, Bend his leg. I said, Okay, let's go. And I took her to that job man. The man was like, She cannot bend it. She now shows that there's something that has clocked. She cannot bend it. Said, You're joking. But now, when you're just talking about me, I ran. I look for her. Yes, yeah. so I, I said, Bend it. She did that. I screamed. She couldn't bend the leg. Give Jesus a prize. Yes, she's been having waist pain since. Um, um, head, this side is paining, side. Has been paining her. So when I walked in, the pains have been there and it's always regular. I've been nursing it and I've been talking to God. When I came in, I sat down. The moment I joined the fellowship, I just deliberately and consciously started talking. Say, God, mm -hmm. I'm not going with this pain. Hallelujah. People that are standing behind me will notice it. So before Who noticed I ever, her? I, I, I just okay, everybody will be concentrating on pain. I've okay. not felt it. It has not come up from, from that time till now that I walked in. Oh, Hallelujah! Oh. Give this a great praise. You see? Um, when I got in, I purposely said, God, I want redemption this night. Mm. I had the focus that God redeemed me this night. I don't want this kind of issues. That mm. something the thing will be like, like an attack on my head all mm. the time. Mm. So but after praying. And then I got revived. In fact, I never wanted to come out. But somebody said, Mr. Man, yeah. go out and go and share the testimony. So you are redeemed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The headache is gone. Amen. The come attack on. is gone. In the name of Jesus. Give yeah. God praise. She said that she's, she's always dreaming and finding herself in a graveyard. That, but today, while you were praying, yes. that she fell. And she found herself there again in yeah. white. And water choked her up to her neck region. Then she saw a hand that brought her out, removed the cloth, and gave her a hand. Let's take them. Come, come. Mochi, what's going on here? He couldn't hear from far. He couldn't hear from far. Yes. I don't understand what's going on. Yes. Wow! Give Jesus great praise. He said he could not hear. Where's the mother? Where's the mother? Let's be sure what's going on here. Where's the mother? Did you hear the, the word of knowledge about the ear? Somebody ear condition pop up. Yes. Oh, you know the case. Mommy, is he telling the truth? Yes. Come, come up, come up, come up. He said he felt something. What did you say? He said something what? Get a mic. Get a, what's going on? What's... Actually, he doesn't hear. He doesn't hear, especially from afar. If I call him, if even just within a distance like this, if I call him, he doesn't hear. So, how do you know you are healed? I think the, 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 something that came out, out of it. Praise the Lord. I just want to bless the name of God. For the great work he's done in the life of my son. Um, the young man you're looking out there is just a bundle of miracle. You know when you find yourself in a situation where for like 10 years you're married, no issues. And God in the year 2004, miraculously he just came and gave me this child. And ever since then, Satan has been fighting left, right and center. See him standing there. He was born lame, completely lame completely lame. From the hospital where I delivered him, he was giving a referral to Igobi. And back then, my mom said, no, he will not go. That he's a child with her anointing oil. It, then she was just a Catholic, but her faith made, her, made us whole. She said, no, we're not going to Igobi. That she's going to be massaging this boy and he's going to be. And miraculously, at the age of just eight months, he walked. He was okay. And since... The devil has never stopped. So at the age of um, five, I noticed if I call him or I talk to him, he doesn't pay attention. He doesn't listen. He doesn't hear me. And then we're saying, this boy, you're stubborn. At times we'll beat him. 
and say, is it not you that your mom, my younger sister will say, your mom is talking to you. He will say, mom, I'm not hearing you. I didn't hear you. He's always saying that. So when he was five years, I got curious. I said, no, let me take him to the hospital. So I took him to the hospital, Federal Medical Center. So they referred us to a specialist somewhere at Surulere. So they ran tests on him and said that his inner ear is completely damaged, that nothing can be done about it. And that actually affected his speech. There are some letters he cannot pronounce very well. It affected his speech and there is nothing that can be done about it. So I've been praying. I went to my pastor then in my former church. We've been praying. Nothing happened. No changes. So for this program, even before the program, I had discussed it with Rev. And she said, no problem. That I should come for the program. I should make sure he comes for the program. I said, sure, he's going to be there for the program. And when he came for the program, I wasn't even with him. I was somewhere around there. It was when I saw him on the altar here, I was shocked. I said, wow, God did it. And to me, it was like, am I dreaming or something? And his condition is usually severe in the morning. When he sleeps and wake up, if I'm talking to him, he does not respond. And I'm like, I, I began to notice that it is intense in the morning when he wakes up from the sleep. Because later in the day, it's like he's okay. But in the mornings, he doesn't hear me. At times, I wake him up. He'll be looking at me. So after this prayer, after this prayer, after the encounter he had, so intentionally, I deliberately did it. I woke him up because when we go home after service, we normally discuss about what he did, what we did in church, what we learned and all that. So I used to tell him that you sleep the sleep of fool. When I wake him, I'll tell him, wake up, you sleep the sleep of fool. So, so on that day, I woke him up. That was yesterday. I woke him intentionally. I wanted to see what would happen that morning. So when I woke him up, he stood up. I say, you, you are now sleeping the sleep of fool again. He did not respond. Then I tapped him. He said, mommy, I heard you, but I'm just trying to get myself. <laughs> then, I, then I said to him, I said to him, okay, you heard me. What did I say? You said, mommy, you said I sleep the sleep of fool. And I said, wow, God, I just give God glory. I just bless the name of the Lord for what he has done. Please help me and appreciate God for what he's done in the life of my son. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. Uh, yesterday, when I was here with my wife on Friday when the program started, my first time here was last week Sunday and we were invited for the program. I was here with my wife on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but we've been, I personally have been craving, and we have different prayer points that we've been saying, but I've been craving for restoration of prayer life. I, I noticed that over like, I think since several months ago, I, I constantly, okay, before now, I used to wake up, I just see like a spirit comes, wake me up, I pray, but I just noticed that it died down for months. And that was what I was hoping. So when, and uh, and when she, when she, and sorry, I'm sorry, ma. <laughs> when pastor said it called that the, uh, the hunger for prayer, when she said, personally, I'm kind, I'm not. I when the Holy Spirit comes to me, I cry. But yesterday, no one touched me. I just saw that I felt so light, and I was like, I was just going down. I said, wow, and. This night, waking up, coming around to, I just heard a voice. You asked for me, I'm here. Can you wake up? And it was so... That's the first testimony. I, I heard the voice. I slept back. And it woke me up again. You are sleeping. I was hearing clearly. Immediately, I came out of the net, went to the, my usual place that I used to be. Oh, I'm talking about seven months ago. I laid down, I started sleeping. I, what I was just hearing, saying was, Holy Spirit, help me, help me. I think I slept for very few minutes. I woke up. I don't know if I was sleeping. I was just saying, Holy Spirit, I just saw myself praying again. When I checked the time, it was around to 4. I said, from 2 a.m. to 2 4. I said, God, thank you for this testimony because this is what we've been praying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my testimony is this. Uh, on Friday, being the first uh, 
the first day we have this program of this uh, night of power. I was rushing to meet up on time. Uh, I live at Makoko. So when I was coming, I enter bike. Then on my way, even getting close before the church premises here, the bike I entered, we fell down. And unfortunately, there is one Jeep that is following us. Upon the kind of speed, the bike man was moving. So when we fell down, the Jeep was following us nearly the Jeep to cross, to crush me and the bike man. But unfortunately, the, the driver applied brake immediately. So when I arrived, even people around the area from two corners of the, within the surround where this uh, accident occurred, people was rushing, hoping maybe we have a serious injury based on how, they, depending how the, the incidents occur. So when I raise up, I now look at myself, there's no even a little scratch, no anywhere, even the way. So nothing happened to me, actually. So follow me, thank God, please. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.